Okay. So, um... The Transformers 1 <laughs> trailer uh, dropped yesterday. I saw it. And I absolutely love it. It looks so freaking good. I mean... Like, just everything about it looks really good. The voice acting is okay. The animation looks gorgeous. The art style looks really cool and unique. I love it. It's very, very cool. That being said, um, people are mixed on this movie. Like, for some reason, there's a lot of people who are just completely against this movie because they say it's quote-unquote too childish. Like, it gives off the vibe of, I don't know, some kiddie movie. Like, it's a kid's movie, quote-unquote. But, like, I hate that argument so much. Like, I've seen movies that are... I've seen people, like, call certain things kids' movies or kids' games or kids' shows, and every time it just really disgusts me. Because I've said this before, and I'll say it again, animation is a form of art, and it's meant to be enjoyed by everyone, regardless of age. It does not matter how old you are, or what gender you are, or anything. You can enjoy animation regardless of who you are. Animation is art. It, it, enough said. But also, so people say this trailer, the first trailer right here, has a tone to it that's more, um, you know, freaking, hold on. It's more... How do I say it? It's more... I don't know. Freaking... I can't think. It's more... Comedic. That's what I'm thinking. It's comedic. So, people see this, and they think... Ew. Gross. It has the comedy of an Illumination movie. It has Kick and Michael Key as Bumblebee and he's being a dork. <laughs> but honestly, I, I like it. I like it. I think it's fine. It's cool. This whole thing looks really cool. Hopefully Paramount does not freaking um, copyright strike me. Because <laughs> I, I put filters over this. I have a border and everything, so you better not copyright me because I'm not I'm not a threat to you, Paramount. You make all the money you need. Me, I'm... I'm not doing anything. I am just... I'm just the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. And all I'm saying is I'm on board with this movie. I love this. I think this is really cool and I'm very hyped to see it in theaters this fall. It looks really cool. But apparently a lot of people uh, see this movie or they see this trailer and they think it's gonna be, like, the tone's gonna be more childish. They think it's gonna be, like, more comedic. They think it's a, gonna be a comedy and stuff. And they're upset that it's not as serious as, like, the war and fall for Cybertron games or something like that. But that's a lie. This movie is gonna be serious. Heck, when people were at CinemaCon and watched this, uh, together, or whatever, when they watched it there, uh, apparently there was an exclusive scene that they saw where Optimus and Megatron were talking and it was very serious and people were like, oh, this this movie ain't- this is more serious. Like, okay. Personally, when it comes to my media, I like media that is lighthearted but has serious or dark undertones. So like, on the surface it's lighthearted, but if you look deep enough you'll see it's like more dark or serious like it's not full on serious like I hate the whole implications that oh adults need serious stuff because you weren't adults we're grown up like shut up w let me ask you this person random person when was the last time or when was the exact moment you let your inner childhood spirit die like when did that happen please tell me because it you need more fun in your life. Fun is not age-gated. Anyone can have fun regardless of age. I'm 24, and I still love a lot of quote-unquote kiddie stuff, a lot of stuff that people deem childish. 
freaking animated movies, cartoons, video games, comics, etc, etc, etc. And so, yeah. Personally, it, it doesn't matter like this. Be more optimistic because this movie is going to be good. Heck, freaking um, Kamino Cam, if that's how I pronounce his name. He made a video recently, like literally today earlier, that described my exact point. And I was like, yes, agreed. Like this movie, it may, like this trailer may be comedic in tone, but that's just because the marketing, they want it to like, you know, appeal to a wider audience. It's because the directors said it's for everyone and that's, yes, agreed. This would be for everyone. So like, if people, you know, if people, like, uh... Why can't I speak? If people, like, think a movie is childish because it has comedy or something and it's not super serious, they're wrong, because, like, okay, I get it. I get juvenile, um, delinquents or juvenile tones or whatever, but, like, it, it, it's just stupid. It's a stupid argument. Like, it's not... You get what I'm saying. It's not age-gated, it's not only children or for children or something like, anyone can have fun, anyone can enjoy animation, anyone can enjoy this stuff. I'm so tired of people deeming animation as made for kids. It's so freaking stupid, I hate it. Ugh. Anyway, yeah, this movie looks great. I love how it looks looks so pretty. I noticed a few things, like, uh, hold on. I've noticed a few parts of, uh, the animation kind of look, like, it, the closer details look more, it has this texture to it, like, this metallic, obviously, obviously metallic, but it has this texture to it that's like, sort of like what you see in 3D printing, like, you know, that weird texture you see? I'm noticing this on the robots, specifically. I don't know. It, I mean, obviously it's a robot. Everything, well, mostly everything. It, that freaking Cthulhu thing that we saw, which is probably the, um, uh... Quintessons, maybe? They, uh, aren't... They kind of look organic. There's a few things in this that look organic. I could dissect this, but I mean, people have, people have done it already. But, like, yeah, this movie looks good. People need to be more optimistic. Please, be an op be more optimistic. Be an optimist. Just be optimistic. Come on, people. It's it's a, it's gonna be good. I promise you it's gonna be good. Like, I'm not trying to sales pitch you. Like, if you are- if this is not your thing, that's fine. You do you. I don't care. I'm just saying people need to not be so judgmental over one single trailer. Because it's not gonna be bad. I can tell you, as someone who tries to see the good in everything that they watch, everything that they play, everything, games, movies, shows, everything, I try to see the good in mostly everything because I'm optimistic. And I can tell you, this is good. This is going to be good. I can, I can tell it. A lot of people say this gives off like Lego movie vibes, Lego movie humor, and yes, I love the Lego movie. That movie is fantastic. Like, <laughs> I'm just tired of people just jumping on this. People are being too harsh on this. They need to be more optimistic. They need to just look on the look, see the good in it. See the good. Okay? If you want something more serious, well, you have the War for Cybertron games. You have um War of Cybertron trilogy on Netflix, even though some people don't like that because of the writing or something. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying like This'll be good. I know it'll be serious. Give it a chance and be more optimistic. That is all. <laughs> Have a good one, people. I, I know this was all over the place. I was just ranting. Uh, hopefully, again, Paramount does not, you know, freaking uh, copyright strike me or copyright claim me. I mean, copyright claim, okay, that's fine. I don't make money anyway, so that's fine. But no copyright strike. Um, yeah, plenty of people uh, have made 
videos about this movie with footage in it and everything. And so, yeah. It's weird. YouTube's copyright system is weird. It needs to be upgraded anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm hyped for this movie. I'm very looking forward to it. It's gonna be awesome. I'll be making more videos, especially Transformers related, soon. In the near future, I'm working on some stuff. So, uh, yeah. Stick around if you want. And, uh, have a good one. And always, always try to be more optimistic. Bye-bye.